Hi everyone, my name is Tova Speeder and I'm an artist, art therapist, community muralist, art consultant, art educator based out of Gorse Mill Studios in Needham, Massachusetts. And I'm also the lead artist of Brighter Connected, a public art project with the Jewish Arts Collaborative that is sharing the light and art of Hanukkah with eight Boston area neighborhoods. And just throughout all of the work that I do, I have a consistent goal of engaging people in the art making process and so of course that is what we're going to do together today. Before we start our project, I just wanted to share that as one of the eight Brighter Connected artists, I've created a blacklight installation called Collective Luminescence, and it's now on display in Newton Center for everyone to go and enjoy and see. And it includes art postcards made by over 200 students with whom I've worked um, through Zoom workshops over the past month. And I've led them in the same art activity that I'm going to lead you through, uh, through here today. But the, these art postcards um, that they've created after the installation, you know, anyone can sign up to receive one and they'll get mailed. So you'll get some fun in the mail and you can color them in and hang them in your own windows to connect even more people through the art. And so in this way, it turns just this one installation into hundreds of window installations if everybody here, you know, it creates their own art to, to share as well. And it's super easy. All you need are very simple materials. You need a piece of paper, and a Sharpie or a black marker or even a pencil. That's all you need. So go gather those materials and, uh, and we'll get started. So this is an example of what our art is going to look like or might look like. Everyone's is going to be a little different, but it's basically a doodling technique. It's called Zentangle. So Zentangle is a type of doodling with patterns. And we're going to be thinking of um, different words of, of hope or otherwise that we want to share with the community. And then I'll lead you through this process of how to create a really fun little coloring page that you can enjoy yourself or share with others. To start our project, the first thing is just using our brains and our creativity. So I want you to think of something positive that you might want to share with someone to brighten their day. It could be an actual thing or a feeling or just words of hope. I, you know, I might think of um, the word hugs or smile or even, you know, the words I love you. It's a be, it should be something short, you know, just a word or two, um, something positive to be able to share. And you can think of someone in particular who you might not be able to see right now who, you know, you'd want to share this with, or it could be just an idea of something that would brighten your day if you got this word or this art in the mail. So think of something positive. And once you have your word, I want you to write it down in big block letters or bubble letters onto your piece of paper using your Sharpie. Okay, so once you have your word written down, it should look something like this. I chose the word smile to share that with uh, with all of you guys today. So you're gonna have your word and then I want you to use, use your Sharpie or your black marker and you're just gonna divide your the background into some different sections. So if you remember this, this technique is um, doodling with different patterns and we're gonna put different patterns in different sections. And so they can just be random. Like here's mine, what I just did. I just made some lines to divide my background into some sections. Next comes the super fun part. So now you're gonna use your Sharpie to fill in each section with a different pattern. You could do dots or swirls, lines or hearts, any kind of doodle that you might wanna make. And you can always Google the word Zentangle if you want, Zentangle, and it'll show a whole bunch of different ideas of patterns that you might, um, you might wanna consider using. But just what's really important to remember is that there's no mistakes here. There's no mistakes in art. I know it's a Sharpie, but you can always color over something, turn it into something new. We can turn those unintended marks into new opportunities. So don't worry about it, just play and have fun. <laughs> Once all your patterns are created in all the different sections, your art is done. It might look something like this, and it's really awesome just to see the contrast of the black and white on its own, but if you wanna take it one step further, you can you can color it in, because it looks kind of like a coloring page, right? And so you can use colored pencils or markers or crayons, whatever you have around, um, and color it in yourself, or 
even more fun and what I would recommend is to actually share this with somebody else. It could be with a family member, it could be with a friend, you can send it in the mail to somebody if you want, but by sharing this with other people and coloring in their work, it's just another way that we're connecting with each other through art during, during these times when we might really benefit from some creative connection. And so I really want to just remind everybody that when, you know, whether you color it in or not, just remember when you're done, hang it in your window. So we want to have hundreds of these in windows all around the Boston area and beyond. So hang it and that way you're also helping spread your artistic positivity with everyone who passes by. For those who don't know, one of the ways we celebrate Hanukkah is not only to light our candles in the menorah, but also to put Put our menorah in the window to share our light with others and by doing this project together you know we're doing just that you're sharing your light with others you're putting it in the window so I want you to make as many as you want here's a whole bunch of examples make as many as you want share them with friends and please if you can take a picture and share it on social media you can hashtag brighter connected or hashtag collective luminescence I can't wait to see what you come up with have fun and happy Hanukkah Thank you.